What is a singularity? What is the singularity? Scientifically, the term singularity is used in a few distinctly different ways. Modern general relativity defines a space-time singularity, also known as a gravitational singularity, as a point which contains huge mass in infinitely small space, where the laws of physics as we know them cease to operate. The state of the universe at the beginning of the Big Bang was a space-time singularity. Black holes are said to contain gravitational singularities. Supermassive black holes are theorized to exist at the center of most galaxies. Inside these black holes? Singularities. But what Singular, the television series, is about is not a space-time or gravitational singularity, but a technological one, a human one, the type of singularity that will happen here on Earth and connect us all to the infinity of the universe. The concept of the technological singularity occurred in Dan Simmons' 1989 sci-fi novel, Hyperion. It's a really great book. In Hyperion, a group called the Technocore, AIs created by humans, gained consciousness and uploaded themselves into the universe's quantum substrate. More recently, the 2013 movie Her explored a similar concept when a man's operating system gained cosmic consciousness. Not only a great film, but Her brought the concept of the technological singularity into a modern-day context. But it was mathematician, computer scientist, and sci-fi writer Werder Vinge who popularized the term singularity in the context as it applies to human beings. Vinge argues that artificial intelligence and human biological enhancement, basically brain-computer interfaces, could be possible causes of the technological singularity. Renowned futurist and engineer Ray Kurzweil built upon this in his book The Age of Spiritual Machines, published in 1999. In it, he proposed the law of accelerating returns, which states technology tends to expand or evolve at an exponential rate. Singular, the television series, explores this acceleration of technology as intelligence becomes increasingly non-biological, trillions of times more powerful than it is today, ingrained in our very DNA. It is this type of singularity event that catapults us human beings from what we are now Homo sapiens, into the next level of human evolution, whatever that may be. Whether it's a space-time singularity or a technological one, the journey is the same, into the infinity of the universe. This is Zach LeBeau, co-creator of the television series Singular, saying thank you and please visit our website at singulardtv.com to learn more. We need your support in launching the first ever decentralized television series.